Um, hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your monthly reading for July 2021. Sagittarius, before I, you know, jump in and get started, I got like some messages for you guys. Um, so I'm going to talk about that for a second. Um, so when I was shuffling, getting y'all, you know, pre-shuffling, getting the cards ready, I felt the energy. It was like a vacuum. It was a strong, it was kind of like strong, but it was not forceful. I was able to snap out of it. So, but what I got was Sagittarius. I don't know if something for you is a long time coming. Or you going for like a long walk in July. It's like when I tapped into the energy, it was like kind of like like a vacuum. But it was like long. I just got it was it was long. But of course it was just energy. So I, I got out that energy because I'm like, where did that come from? But what I picked up from it was, Sagittarius, something is either a long time coming in July. Or you're going to go for a long walk and you might be drained from this walk. This could be a hike, something like that. Um, <clears throat> What I also pulled from, what, I, what I'm also getting from it too... Sagittarius, uh, in July, it might be like some, um, karmic energy around you, but I'm not sure if the energy is good or bad. If the energy is bad, Sagittarius, it's not going to be harmful to you. If that vacuum energy that I, that, that I felt was pulling, cause it was like, it was pulling on you. So, if it's like a karmic force, if it's a demonic force, it's like you might snap out of it or it might not have an effect on you. Or its effect on you is not going to, it's not going to have an effect on you. So, I don't know if that force was a, a, a temptation. So, for example... What I'm saying, or, or what I was trying to say was Sagittarius. It could be like people, like a com karmic energy, demonic karmic energy. This could be something as simple as Sagittarius. Someone inviting you to a fight. Someone invites you to a fight, some type of disagreement breakout. And it's like you get sucked into it. And But you, it's like you have a choice. Either you're going to fall into that energy, it was like a vacuum, or you're going to snap out of it. So, I don't know if the energy was like a possible physical altercation, and you get caught up in the moment because of your fire ele element. That force, that vacuum that I felt could have been your passion, your anger, and you get caught up in the moment. Um... So, I don't know if it's people around you and you get sucked into like a fight, some anger, rage. Um, or if you could be like on some type of medication. And the medication, you get sucked into the, the side effects of the medicine. So, I don't know what that that force was, that energy. Um, but it was the energy around you. And it was like a vacuum. <clears throat> but it was soft. So that's why I'm not, I don't know if it's something negative or positive. If that energy is something negative. So for example, Sagittarius, say like you take some drugs in, in July. And the, the effects of the drugs take you somewhere you don't want to go. Like it have you feeling some type of way. But it's like, you're not going to overdose. You're just going to have to wait till the drugs wear off. 
So if if the energy is negative, it's not going to have an effect on you like it could have. Cuz I'm I'm kind of picking up the energy wasn't negative. It was soft, but it was something that made you uncomfortable. That's what I want to say cuz it made me uncomfortable. Cuz I was like where did this like I'm like what so it's like I had to take control of it and come back into my reality. Like I don't, I ain't know where that came from. I don't like I don't know. So I don't know if this can be like a heat stroke and you might have to calm yourself down because you get sucked into something. And you might have to calm yourself down and um go sit down or take a drink of water or something like that. Cause I picked up something is either energetically or is literally. So this could be you going for like a long walk, like you taking a hike or something, and it's like that. You could be um in the beginning stages of like a heat stroke. But it's like you gotta catch it. Because I'm picking up the energy is um it's powerful, but it's soft. And you have a choice. It's like you have a choice. You don't have to get sucked into it. But it's like if you do get sucked into it, it might last longer. Than you want it to last. So that's why I don't know if this is drugs. Or some type of sickness come upon you. Unexpectedly. Or something like that. I'm picking up. But it was kind of like soft. But it was like uncomfortable. And kind of like. um Foreign to you. Sagittarius. So I, I still don't know if it's something good or bad. But I got. A negative and positive scenarios. Um. But on a negative note, this could be something that's even like a fight. You can get into a fight with somebody or a real bad argument with somebody. And it's like you tried to avoid it, but the argument happened. And the argument or the fight could have lasted longer than you wanted it to last. So this could even be a masculine too. I don't know. You could get into a fist fight. And it's like y'all out there fighting for a long time. So it could be some type of fight or something. But... I'm going to say this and then I'm going I'm, to I'm be quiet. I'm picking up Sagittarius. Whatever this force is, whatever that vacuum was, is soft but it's powerful. It could either be good or bad, <clears throat> but I'm getting you have, you kind of have a choice. It's like when the energy overtake you, you might just have to snap out of it. So this could be like some dizziness, some dizzy spell, something like that. Or you're going on a long hike and you, you know, you probably got to be careful. You can, you know, um, you could, a heat stroke could probably try to come upon you. You're not going to die from it, but you might end up in the hospital. So it's something powerful, but it's soft. Um, it don't totally overtake you. That's what I want to say. So, yeah. Or Sagittarius, this could be like some type of dream you having. You getting caught up in some, you know, your third eye chakra, your crown chakra, and God revealing something to you. Something like that. Something like that. You get caught up in some some type of energy you get caught up in. It's powerful. It's soft. It's powerful. Okay. So, let me just be quiet. So, let me put, I'm, I got a crystal for you. I'm going to pull a crystal and then an angel answer. So, what is Sagittarius uh, crystal for July? Citrine, bring in the light. So, citrine, bring in the light. Okay. <clears throat> what is Sagittarius' uh, angel answer for July? What is Sagittarius' angel answer for, the, for July? Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take this one. Two came out, but I'm going to take this one. And it's it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. That's your angel answer. I'm going to read it. Um, As well, Sagittarius, I want to point point out to you that um, your crystal, that the citrine, your crystal is the same color, uh, like that goldish color in, in your, your um angel answer. Like that gold. So... To me, when your crystal, when the car is like the color, 
um when they when the colors to me when they coordinate and like oracle cards and angel answers things like that when these cards and the colors coordinate together to me that's a sign from the most high that um sagittarius in the month of july you whether you aware of it or not you are in alignment with spirit in some way shape form or fashion you're on the you know you're on the right track concerning something and it's concerning with you know with the most high with spirit um so yeah so let me read y'all uh crystal citrine citrine okay bring in the light let the sunshine pour in some spiritual vitamin d will lift your spirits and your sights on on life let happiness be a choice you make every day just like the sun bursts through the fog on a cloudy day you have the ability to bring light in even when you might be feeling a little blue you are in charge of the weather within your inner environment Embrace what it feels like to feel good and make a conscious effort to stay in the light. Okay. So what I want to say, Sagittarius, is, is that energy I felt. That could be other that could be a good it could have been good. Cause I didn't pick up too much of negative energy. Cause it was like I wasn't sure what it was. So because it was something unexpected to me. And that energy just came over me unexpected. I willingly shook myself from it. Because I'm like, what is this? So, Sagittarius, in the month of July, you might get an encounter with, like, the Most High. Your whole, your angels, your ancestors. They probably want to bring pre peace to you. But it's like, when, when they giving you, when they wrap you in that energy, you got to, you might have to just sit there and let it happen. Um, because it's something new to you, whatever you're going through, you probably could be fighting with depression, fighting from some paranoia. And it's like the most high is bringing you peace. He's surrounding you. It's like, he's giving you a spiritual hug, but like on a deeper level, it's like, you can feel it. So I don't think if that happened to you, Sagittarius in July, cause it was soft. The energy that I felt, it was soft. I didn't feel as though I was in danger. It was just unexpected to me. So it kind of spooked me. So it's like I shook it off. Like I, I rejected that energy. But from reading your crystal. <clears throat> that might be like uh, the most high. Like overcoming you with his presence. Something like that. To give you peace. That might be his presence trying to overshadow you. Something like that. Because it say, let the sunshine pour in some spiritual vitamin D. Some spiritual vitamin D will lift your spirits and your sights on life. Let happiness be a choice you make every day. Yeah, it say, you are in charge of the weather within your inner environment. So it's like, the Holy Spirit is not going to force nothing on you. He's not going to force it. So it's like... If you feel that that presence, that lightness, that love, that peace, that shalom, you might want to just let him do it. So this is kind of like the most high trying to give you a hug. And you, because it's, it's, it's something new to you, you shake it off. You, you, you reject it. Something like that. Because it catches you off guard. Because it caught me off guard. But your crystals say this is, it's like spiritual vitamin D. And that could have been the energy I felt. But anyway, the affirmation for this crystal is I let the light back in. And like they say, Jesus is the light of the world. So it's like, this is probably the most high bringing his presence to you. Like he, you know, on the, you know, in a different way. I let the light back in. Watch the sunrise or set. So the affirmation for this crystal is, I let the light back in. And the card is suggesting to you to watch the sun rise or watch the sun set. Yeah. Because that energy, I felt, it wasn't danger. It wasn't an enemy. It was just unexpected and it kind of spooked me. So I shook it off. 
So, let me read your angel answer. But I think the most high, your angels, or your spirit guides, Sagittarius, the most high might touch you. He might touch you, um, bless you. But it's on a 5D. You can't see him. No man can see God and live. So, you're not going to see his presence. You're going to feel it. But it's going to be soft. It's going to be soft. So, just sit there and let him heal you. Let him give you that spiritual vitamin D. Let him give you that peace. Just let it rest upon you. So, your angel answer is it's up to you. Let me read it. Okay. See, and even your angel answer is say it's up to you. So, it's like you either going to allow the most high to, to um bless you. Like, cover you with his feathers, his pinions. Because that's scripture too. Like, the Most High probably want to cover you. Protect you. Confirm to you that he's there. So, don't let it spook you. Just let it be. You know, let it happen. Let him do it. Let him bless you. Let him give you a hug. Whatever. But it's up to you, though. Because the, whole, the Holy Spirit is not... He's not going to force anything, anybody to do something against their will. So... The angel answer is, it's up to you. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can't affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. <clears throat> in order to come to a successful conclusion, this situation requires your unique perspective and experience. I'm going to read that again. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge in order to come to a successful conclusion. This situation requires your unique perspective and experience. So I'm picking up a little bit of negativity too, Sagittarius. So this could be, I don't know, Sagittarius, if you have an argument with somebody, a dispute, or you're anticipating some type of argument. Don't, because what I'm picking up is Sagittarius. Some type of energy, a demonic force is like inviting you to a fight. They're inviting you to your own downfall, your own demise. But this entity is using people. So this could be people coming to your house, showing up at your house, trying to fight you. But it's like, don't go outside. Don't entertain that energy. Stay in your house, call the cops, do what you got to do. This could be you in the month of July. It's like you're waiting for somebody to come to your house. It's like, I, I want him or her to come over here. I want him to come. I want him to come. Because your cards say, don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. Because I picked up a fight. Um. So this could be a situation to where the most high know you're on the verge of losing your temper. And it's like, he try to give you some peace of mind before the, all the drama manifests. Something like that. Um, Because Sagittarius, you got to be careful on the 5D. On the 5D, the devil will set you up. I don't know. The devil will set you up. If the devil wants you in jail, he'll make he'll fix it to where you end up in jail. Um, So you got to be careful. The devil uses people... Um. For the most part, the devil will entice people, will influence people. Um, I don't know, Sagittarius. Somebody, you know, the enemy's plan, they probably want you locked up. They probably want you locked up. So it's like if you have the opportunity to get into a fight or argument with somebody, you might want to rethink it because it can go left real quick. It can go left real quick. You might want to move side, go pray about it. Um, Wait on God. Don't wait for your enemy. Wait on God. Because Sagittarius, you might be tempted in the month of July. You, I don't know if you waiting for a fight. Something like that going on. But don't wait on your enemy. Wait on God. Something like that going on. I feel it. Because it's like the enemy is there. Trying to tempt you to fall into some type of temptation. But it's going to cost you Sagittarius. It don't have to be nothing major. But it could be like something like you end up in jail. And then, like, you end up in jail, you lose your job. So, it's like, see, it's like that's how the enemy works. It's like a domino effect. He One thing happened to you, then this thing happened to you. 
And then you're going to have to recover from that. So it's like, I'm getting the messages, don't wait on your enemy, wait on God. Because sometimes we as people, we want to release. We can be angry, we can be hurt, we can be fearful. And it's like, we want to release. Whether we release through drugs, fighting, things like that. Sagittarius, you probably want to release some negative energy that you've been holding on to. And it could very well be if somebody invites you to a fight, you'd like, okay, come on, come on. Because I've been wanting to do this for the past two years, three, three days, whatever. But I heard, don't wait on your enemy, wait on God. Because some people, we just be wanting to release that negative tension. So God can relieve you of that negative tension instead of you, you know, releasing it through getting into a physical altercation. I mean, you might have to get these crystals. You might have to get these crystals, and I don't know. I think this crystal, the citrine, protects you from negative energy. I believe it do. I think it do. I think so. If I'm not mistaken, hold on. Okay, so. <clears throat> so, um. Sagittarius, you could probably have, like, just, like, some negative energy around you. You could have negative energy around your home. Um, whether you invited this negative energy in or not, it's a possibility that you have negative energy around your home that got you tense. Um, but the citrine, that uh, crystal, it helps with prosperity, self-image, and self-esteem and self-image, creativity. It, it, it encourages generosity. It promotes clarity of thinking, manifestation, asserting personal will, facilitating new beginnings. Yeah. But I think this, this crystal also helps with like um, just negative energy around your home. If you have negative energy around your home. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm Y'all going to have a part two. Because I'm 20 minutes in already. And I haven't even started the reading. So, y'all definitely going to have a part two. And possibly even a part three. So, what's going on with Sagittarius in the month of July 2021? What do Sagittarius need to know? See? Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. See? Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. What else? One more for Sagittarius July. What's going on? What do Sagittarius need to know? What can they expect? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to keep this one here too just in case. Because Sagittarius, I'm picking up. You might need Jesus in July. <laughs> you going to need Jesus. Something going on with you, Sagittarius. Yeah, cause the the enemy is on your is on your your tail. They on you. You just you probably going through like testing and trials, and um, whatever you going through, the enemy just using it to annoy you. But you're gonna have to release that negative tension in a productive way. That's why the cards say be proactive. Be proactive. So, for example, Sagittarius, say like you go on a hike um, in July, but you go on this hike because you're very angry. So it's like you go on the hike, you're so angry that you don't realize it's hot outside. You forget your gear. You forget your water bottle. And it's like you just go on the hike. And like you can end up having a heat stroke or something because it's like you, you got to be proactive in your anger. You got to be watchful and be very careful of your anger, Sagittarius. Because you could be going through a lot. You you could be under pressure. But you got to handle it wisely and be proactive. So, like I said, that energy I picked up, it could be you before you know it. You in the hospital because you went on a hike and you done fainted or something. Something like that. So, Sagittarius, you got to be careful. You could have went on a hike to release some stress and you wasn't prepared. Because anger can alter your judgment. 
Anger can alter your judgment. Yeah. So just be careful. Because the devil lurking and he trying to um use your whatever you're going through to, to cause you some type of harm. And it could be mental harm, physical harm, emotional. Yeah. So just be careful. What's... No, the Kipper message. So, okay. What's going on with Sagittarius in July with lightning? Why do Sagittarius got to control their anger or they will be sorry? Give me a Kipper message for that. Distant horizons. Okay. So, Sagittarius, this is distance horizon. Distant horizon. So, this card is kind of like the Seven of Cups and Tarot. So, the Seven of Cups and Tarot is like witchcraft, illusions, hallucinations. Um, someone who is probably not in reality. Um, as well, the Seven of Cups could be pressure. This distance horizon could be like you're under pressure. You could be planning for something. Sagittarius, in this distant horizon, you could be planning for something. You could be trying to get your dream home off the ground. Your dream business off the ground. And it's like you're under a lot of pressure. Whatever this is, if this is not like spell work and witchcraft and Sagittarius, you, you losing your mind. This is something like you're on a process, you're on the break of something big. This could be a new business. This could be a marriage. This could be a home. But it's stressing you out. It's stressing you out. It's taking a lot out of you. So you could just be having a, you could have like a meltdown in, in July. Because it's like you're planning for something. You're trying to ground your hopes and dreams. You have a hope. You have dreams. And you're trying to manifest it. It just takes a lot of work. Because this fantasy, this dream has to be grounded. It has to be, you have to be practical. So that takes effort. So something could just be frustrating you. Distance horizons could be traveling. Something to do with, something to do with traveling. Distant horizons could also be um, something foreign. This can, this can speak of foreignness. Something that's foreign. Um, this could be something that's not of, the, not, not of this world. So this distant horizon, Sagittarius, can also be the presence of God. I'm picking up that for this reading. I usually don't say that with this card, but I'm picking that up a little bit. So this distance hor horizon could, could be something foreign to you. So this is like your angels and ancestors coming to your aid. Because they know you're very angry. So this is like you getting, uh, you know, you getting help from the 5D. They're coming to assist you because you're very angry. You're probably about to blow your top. Because you're losing control of yourself. So this distance horizon can be like um, divine help. Divine assistance. Because it's foreign to you. Something that's foreign to you. What's going on with, uh, with Fly? With uh, Sagittarius? With period of ill health and depression? What's going on with this? Yeah. Yep, community. Um, Sagittarius, this community could be something concerning social media. This community could be your community your community. Like your you know, your neighborhood, your community where you live at. Or this could be your community on a 5D. This could be your people, your angels, your ancestors, the most high, your past on loved ones. This could be your um your spiritual community. But it's angels and ancestors. Angels. Your past on loved ones. I'm getting angelic protection, um, Sagittarius here. You going through hell, but you're being you're being watched over. You going through hell, but you're not alone. Yeah. You're going through hell, but you're not alone. What's going on with Sagittarius with um lightning and distant horizon? The fool. Sagittarius, this could be you. You can have Aries or Aquarius in your chart. This is the major arcana for Aries or Sagittarius or Aquarius. Uh, 
Or Sagittarius, somebody around you could be acting like a fool. Somebody around you could be acting like a fool. Or Sagittarius, you could be, you could be tempted to act like a fool, to do something you might regret. The fool can lose his temper. So you dealing with uh, uh, Aries or an Aquarius, or you got that in your chart, or somebody is tempted to um, maybe act the fool, or somebody is being foolish around you, Sagittarius, and that's why you, that's why you angry. Or this fool could be you embarking on a new journey. This fool can be you um, taking a leap of faith, and that's what this distant horizon is. So this could be you working on a project. Like I said, it could be something big, a dream. Um, this could be you trying to buy a home. This could be you trying to open up a storefront, start a business. And it's a lot of work and it's pissing you off. What's going on with the fool? What's going on with the fool? What's going on with the fool? Yeah, five of cups. Five of cups. Emotional regrets and losses. Yeah. Sagittarius, I don't know if you're if you could have started some new endeavors with this distance horizon. You probably started something and um I don't know if you just haven't uh, whatever this leap of faith is that you took, this new endeavor, it's probably not working out how you wanted it to. So you have emotional regrets and losses and you have to control your anger and you will be sorry. Um, Sagittarius, it could be a little bit of you hallucinating too, a little bit. I don't know, like I said, y'all messages. I picked up a lot of messages. Sagittarius, you could take some type of drugs. And it could be street drugs or a prescription. And it, it's like it, ha it has an adverse effect on you. That's what could be going on too. You take some medicine. Whether it's street drugs or this or a, a prescription. But something has an adverse effect on you. But you're going to have to control yourself. And just wait for that pill to get out your system. Or whatever, these, or whatever this is. Drugs. Whatever it is. It can be legal drugs or street drugs. Um, something like that. And it's like. This is like somebody being drunk. This is like somebody being drunk. And you know when you get drunk. Hang over the room. Start spinning. And it's like you sitting there like, oh my God, I got to just wait for this liquor to just, you just got to sit there and wait for it. You got to sleep it off. If you can go to sleep, like this could be a hangover, that five of cups. You know how you have a hangover and the room starts spinning and you like, oh my God, I done did it again. <laughs> it could be something as simple as that. Um, This fool energy, is this Sagittarius? No, that fool, not you. Five of Cups, is this Sagittarius? Oh, yeah. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with an ex. You could be dealing with an ex or some legalities in July. But this fool, this could be your ex, Sagittarius, whether you're a male or female. This, could, this is not you. So somebody around you could be an Aquarius or Aries, don't have to be. Or this, like your ex could be acting a fool. But this is you. This is you, Sagittarius. You could be having emotional regrets and losses because of your ex. You pissed off at this ex. Your ex is acting a fool. Your ex is acting a fool, Sagittarius. And you're going to have to control your anger or you will be sorry. I don't know. It can be your ex that's tripping on drugs. I don't know. They could be tripping. And you getting tired of them. Your ex could be an addict. Cause, and that's why they're your ex. And it's like they could probably show up to your house acting up. Yeah, your ex could be on drugs. And it's like they show up to your house. But I'm getting to somebody could be hallucinating. And it could be your ex, Sagittarius. Somebody hallucinating. There's a lot of scenarios out here. There's a lot of scenarios. But I'm going to put some tea on it and we're going to see what's going on. I got like two more minutes before this go to part two. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, What's going on with Sagittarius with... Period of ill health, depression, and community. Yeah, four cups. Sagittarius, you feel rejected. You probably embarrassed. You probably ashamed of this person and or yourself. Um, yeah. 
Sagittarius, you can have water in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You and your emotions, Sagittarius. You either ashamed of this person or this fool energy. You ashamed. You're either embarrassed or ashamed. And angry too. Clarify the four cups. Clarify the four cups. Yeah, had the King of Swords came back out again. Sagittarius, I think that's you. That's how I was. Uh, King of Swords, somebody ex. The King of Swords is either somebody's ex, or this is like legal legalities. That King of Swords. Um, the King of Swords can be a lawyer. The King of Swords can also be a surgeon too. A surgeon. But I'm picking up an ex. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with an ex in July. And this person is causing you embarrassment. You're angry. You embarrassed by this person. You're disappointed. You feel rejected. They feel rejected. It's just a sad situation. It's a sad situation. And you might lose your temper, Sagittarius, with this person. This four cups. This four cups is this Sagittarius. Yeah, that's you. You disappointed in this person. Um, and it's letting me know, how, Sagittarius, you're going through a period of ill health and depression because of this fool energy. And this could be your ex acting like a fool. But um, you're depressed, Sagittarius, because you feel rejected or you had to reject this person and you didn't want to. You probably had to reject this person and you didn't want to. King of Swords, is this Sagittarius? I think this is, though. Yep, that's you. So, Sagittarius, you, this is an ex. You somebody's ex. So, either you become this person's ex in July, or y'all been broke up. But you the ex, Sagittarius. Um, if you a man, if you are a female Sagittarius watching this, you and your masculine energy. You and your masculine energy. 